broken down FedEx truck. I came out here earlier to do a little bit of uh, code reading and diagnostics. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what is the issue. So I crank it on. This battery's gonna die and I'm gonna have to jump it soon. Um, yeah, so you can see when I shift it in drive, yeah, it doesn't work. Shifted and doesn't work. No, nothing. But it's in reverse. Cause look, you see that? But it ain't matching. So this is a problem with this though, for why it ain't matching. But um, saddle reverse should be park, drive, and nothing. No matter how much you try. Now, a little bit of history. Um, this truck here, a couple days ago, they were saying that the RPMs were surging up and down and everything like that. I read the code, so you see no codes because I cleared it uh, a little bit ago, trying to see if that would change anything. But it was saying shift solenoid A and a whole bunch of other codes like that, and they were similar to each other. So um, what I'm gonna do right now is go underneath and first inspect to see if this one has the um, shift solenoid. So one of the causes for these codes were uh, dirty transmission fluid, a uh, dirty um, filter. So what I'm doing right now, what I'm gonna have to do anyway, is drain as I'm doing now. You can see this is pretty dirty transmission fluid. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty dark, so. Yeah, it's supposed to be a light, light red. You can see the little bit of reflection in that. But other than that, yeah, changing that. The consistency of the fluid isn't too clumpy. It's pretty, the viscosity is pretty uh, thin. So I'm gonna be taking that off. And the bolts here, there's mosquitoes. I hate working outside. Look at that mosquito, look at him. He just wants to bite me, my goodness. This is gonna be something else. Um, alrighty, so yeah, uh, 10 millimeter bolts all the way around, and then this thing comes down. Let me hurry up, because there's a big pond that's over there, so I don't want to get bit. Alrighty, so I got the last little bit draining out, because I got it tipped over, so when I drop the pan, there's not a good amount that's going to be still uh, swishing around in here. So, like I said, it's 10 millimeter bolt. Let's go ahead now. And um, I'm just gonna put this in here right now, but also don't forget to tighten that down. And let me let the pan down. All right, so here we are. Here we are. We have the um, solenoids right here. Um, here's the filter right here. It's supposed to just kind of just slide off. And there's gonna be some fluid in here too. So you slide it off. Yeah. There's fluid in there. So then you have your O-ring right there. So I'm just letting a little bit of the fluid just drain out here in the pan. I'm gonna be changing this out, so don't even worry. It's the bottom of the pan. That's the magnet. You wanna inspect the magnet over there, which is right here for any metal parts or anything like that over there. So, uh, I'm just gonna set that right there and continue to let that drip out. I put a rag down here. I don't know where I put it. But um, yeah, so now, this is the thing. On here, do a little research. I found the service menu for this. So. Uh, the one that I am looking for is going to be this one. This one right here is the solenoid A. And then this one right here is the pressure solenoid A. So there's a difference. Uh, I'm assuming both of these are coast clutches, which I'll explain what a coast clutch is. Um, but that's something that I guess is on a Ford. And like I said, um, this one right here is going to be the one we're after. And this one right here is just pressure solenoid. This one is a shift solenoid A. They're both A. So what I'm gonna do is take off this one here and I'm going to um, ohm it out. 
So these, um, what I'm gonna do is first just ohm out the, uh, the, the solenoid. I'm not gonna take it out, but I'm gonna ohm out the solenoid. And if it reads OL, that means it's pretty much done. So I have my, mil my um, what you call this thing here? Digital multimeter here. So I'm gonna test this first, but I need two hands. So I'm gonna put it down. I'm just gonna stick my two leads in here. Uh, Mike actually goes to the other side so I can properly do this and test it out. Right, so I'm taking the shift solenoid out. It has a little clip like that, like how that one is sitting. You just take that off. Once you take that off, it's able to just slide out. A couple, uh, a little bit of fluid's gonna fall out. So just uh, kind of be careful. Pulling it out, and there it is right here. Test it, just hook up uh, 12 volts to it and see if inside here moves. If it moves sluggish or not at all, then you know it's bad. So that's what I'm gonna end up doing. So, um, yep, what I'm gonna do is put a new transmission fluid up here, being that it's in a neighborhood and then that's it. I'm gonna be done for tonight. I'm gonna put the new filter and dispose of the old one. And then um, I'm going to uh, close this up so it doesn't sit open and then I will come back and tomorrow and see what I can do. Here's the new filter right here. You can see how clean that looks inside. And the little screen filter. I'll show you what the old one looks like. I'm gonna slide this in there. So here's that filter. It's so dirty inside. You can see that's the screen. So yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this new solenoid in, back where we got it from, and just like how they are. Just try not to... Alrighty, so I got it in there now. I'm about to go ahead and clip in the clip. Yeah, it's power, ground. And then that clip in there. Uh, new filter. And I wanna go ahead and put this back up. Put a little bit of, I'm gonna put a little bit of gasket maker at the ends and then put it up. All right, so the torque is 11 foot pounds, 15 newton meters. So I'm just gonna go through. I already hand tightened them all the way around in a star sequence. So I'm transferring this in. This will be the last time I use this pump because I got an electric one, but I'm using the O'Reilly's uh, transmission fluid. It takes the um, the Mercron, but uh, that comes like in an orange bottle, but this is what I got for now, so I'm filling it up. I'm gonna check it. All right, so I'm about to check. I filled it up with, so far, just one gallon, but I'm going to, um, this is cold. I'm gonna warm it up and get it up to temperature so I can really see. So this is what it looks like right now. Can't really see. All right. Yeah, so yeah, you can see there. So let me go ahead and get this started. So I got it started here. I'm gonna just go ahead and shift through the different shifts so it can um let me actually go lower my jack. I think I did, yeah. So let me see if it'll shift. No. Trying to 
get the truck towed. So I'm gonna be putting a new transmission in this one. So might make a video on that, who knows? That's life. But other than that, yeah, this vehicle, it just like doesn't even, um, like the gears, they slip. Each time I keep going into the gears, it slips. Like you can just feel it just slipping and it doesn't catch. So yeah, that torque converter is just done for. It's pretty much just time for a new one. Transmission is old, 2015. This truck has a lot of miles on it. So what we're gonna do is put a reman in it. It's what they was uh, requested. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. So I'll be doing that outside, most likely in this parking lot. So we'll see. Don't forget also to like and subscribe. Don't forget. Thank <laughs> you.